Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're doing an Amazon keyboard. I'm going to try, I'm not going to set a particular time frame, but at least once a month I go through Amazon and check for new keyboards or keyboards I have not seen. Uh, sometimes I've come across them when I get them I find that they're another model. But I do this not only to cover keyboards that may not be covered by other reviewers but so that you guys can get an idea if this is a new keyboard if it offers anything that you might be interested in um, and most of these I get on sale a lot of times like half off what they're listed now granted the market is changing significantly so a lot of these brands that had overpriced keyboards with you know Temu hot swap sockets steel plates no dampening are finding that they're no longer competitive um, so they're reducing prices of those some I don't wouldn't say new companies new brands are coming out with interesting keyboards today we're taking a look at one that came across my feed the other day I have never heard of this company uh, this keyboard does kind of remind me of a couple different keyboards and we'll see once we open it up but it's the Kuri 82 key MK 082 um, so it is, I believe it's a three mode. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a wired keyboard. Let me see. It's US and it has brown switches. And that's all about, about all I know of this. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got in this 75% kit from Amazon. All right, so we got a user guide. Here we have a simple how to replace the key switches. A USB cable, a decent one with caps, um, rubberized, and we have a key switch key cap for And here we are with the Cori MK082. Now, looking at it, it has some similar language to a few other ones, but I don't think this is exactly... It might be... i am only got the IK75 V3, so this one's not exactly like it but I'm trying to see it does look familiar but now I'm trying to think which keyboard could it be similar of but we do have a pocket for the 2.4 we have a Windows we have a Windows and a Mac switch as well as Bluetooth 2.4 and USB off the bat this is extremely light though it does have a nice big round knob whoa I have not seen a knob like that what is this this is odd I have not seen this it's a knob within a knob so this part is metal and this is a plastic insert I have no idea that's quite odd let's see what we've got under here It looks like we have a PC plate. Now that is something you don't see every day. And we also have a bit of dampening between the plate and the PCB. And it goes off just a little bit in the corners of the PCB. But it looks to be like a silicone um, plate PCB dampener. But there doesn't seem to be anything below the case, but case, which is kind of odd. We have north facing, three pin, three and five pin hot swap compatible. And we are preloaded with these are Jixian, Jixian Browns, and they're unlubed. Hear that ping? Can you hear that ping? All right. Well, the PC plate is a nice thing to find. What do we got as far as stabilizers go? Now, they're actually pretty well attached on the board. They're not very, um, there's barely any wiggle whatsoever. I'm actually impressed with how tight they are. But let's pull these out real quick and check something. They have been pre-lubricated and they are clipped or don't have the feet, so there's no need to clip them. 
but it does not appear that there's any way to mount PCB stabilizers, which is not a surprise. Though I've got to say I'm kind of impressed at how well these stabs not only fit, but they're actually nicely lubricated, not overly lubricated. So let's see. That ping just just hurts. Huh. Oh, the case is bubbling up there a little bit. Um, oh, and it does have a lot of flex. It just doesn't sound good. Uh, the stabilizer is actually okay, but the problem is, is that these switches are not lubed. And if they would have just spent a little bit more money and gotten, there's a whole ton of switches out there that are going to sound much better stock. So I'm just kind of curious as to why they don't get either pre-lubed switches or better switches. These are wing latch, so they're likely to be Otemu. Oh no, they're Jixian, never mind. I forgot the Jixian. So I believe Jixian is a manufacturer, but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. All right, so I'm gonna lube one up real quick just to see the difference. Oh, it's nice and lubed. We still got our minimal brown bump. So the G is lubed. It definitely makes a difference because that ring is pinging even though we got a PC plate. So far, I can't say I'm all that impressed, but let's see. Let's connect it to Bluetooth and see what we've got. 2.4 works almost immediately. Yep. 2.4 works, but Bluetooth does not work. I'm going to go try in a couple different devices and see if it's just not this device. But this one has a very, the computer I'm working on has a very good Bluetooth, um, internal Bluetooth device. It's very good at finding everything and anything. And it even sometimes catches, I'm in a basement and it catches my kids devices on the second floor. So it goes through three floors and then I can actually detect it. And I've actually used a keyboard upstairs and triggered it down here. So, all right. All right, I went and tried with a Mac uh, Pro and a Windows PC with a built-in Bluetooth. And they could see it, but they could not connect. Uh, it did connect one time on a Windows PC, but it just kept connecting and disconnecting and the lights would come on and off. So. 2.4 works fine. Bluetooth, for whatever reason, I tried on a, I think one is a Bluetooth 4, one's a Bluetooth 5, and this one's a Bluetooth 5.1. So, three different Bluetooth, three different Bluetooth devices. Oh, and my phone also, and nothing. So, I'm not sure what's going on with this keyboard. All right, let's plug it in and take a look at the lights, since we can't really do it over wireless. All right, so we got a charging light, and then the PC plate definitely helps to um, bring those lights out with these keycaps. Unfortunately, that's part of the problem with the sound. They're only top double shot. They feel like ABS. I'm gonna say they're, what, maybe, maybe one? Maybe? No, oh, 0.9. Yeah, that's below my threshold. So these would definitely be those kind of key caps that you would just take off and replace. All right, so it looks like to change the colors, it's function backslash, or change the effects, I should say. It looks like it's stuck on a color. Does this one change color? Oh. oh. Yeah, okay, so it has to be in a single color effect. And then you can use this 
to change the colors. Now the RGB is pretty bright on here. I will say that. Let's see what it looks like with a cap on. That's yeah, a pretty bright light that's shining in there. And of course the uh, PC plate acts like a diffuser. It does appear to be a gasket mount as well. I mean, I'm getting some flex past where, yep, see? Oh, but the, oh uh, yeah, it definitely is. And I can't believe I didn't notice that before. You can see that there's the port, but if I press down, it goes all the way to the bottom. So the port's just been opened up in order to allow it to move. For a um, single board, it's actually, I gotta say, pretty flexy. That. Wow, that's um, I'm not pressing that hard. That doesn't sound good. No idea what that is. Doesn't happen here or here. I'm afraid that. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but. Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it on this, cause I, uh, I mean, granted the price is pretty good. If the Bluetooth worked, perhaps, but we've got some bowing on the case. We've got a very weak case. We've got this. We've got Bluetooth that doesn't connect. Um, this is uh, and then this odd thing. Good luck finding a replacement knob, and this doesn't want to seem to come off for nothing. It feels like it's part of the... I don't know if it's built in there, but I'm not going to open it up and try to... Uh, it looks like the screws are even hidden under here, because... I mean, it is a gasket mount, so... Unless it's pressure. All right, I, if it's pressure, I guess I can... All right, it is. Since it's no screws, I'll go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. out the source of that sound. Alright. Oh. So no. Looks like it wants this off because oh. Alright, we've got a JST, we've got the switches. That's that little thing that goes around the, uh, it's supposed to be sticky, but, all right, uh, let's disconnect the battery JST, all right, we've got these switches, I'm just going to leave them there for right now, try to remember before I put them back, that's a block. There, but nothing on this side. I mean, that magnet is there. Is that what could have been causing that clicking? So, this should come out. There's no way to tell what's going on. Um, this doesn't seem to have. Oh, wait a minute. If I can get underneath it, perhaps? Oh, there we go. Oh. Is it a two-piece? And it just came loose? Because that's a regular D-knob. Alright, so that's just an odd little knob. Alright. This looks fairly standard. We've got tiny little gasket socks all around the perimeter. But... Alright, so I'm going to set this in here. Let's leave the socks on, huh? I 
feel like um, <clears throat> I feel like silicone rubber. I have about that give. So. got to be that magnet. Yeah, that's just, um, that's troubling. I wouldn't want to use that. Not that I'm going to be pressing that hard on it, but I'm not really pressing that hard. That's the thing. Uh, uh, while we're here, I guess, now yeah, you can see there's the, it feels like silicone rubber uh, between the plate and the PCB. No daughter board. And um, no case foam. So I'm going to guess part of that <clears throat> reason is because of the switches. But there's plenty of ways where, ways around that. Um, I don't believe I'm going to be keeping this keyboard. Otherwise, I'd mod it. But I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, it reminds me of the IROC FE75. But I don't remember a keyboard ever doing that. Let's see, all the gaskets are in place. the ports in there. Despite them having a hook design, they don't seem to want to hook onto them very well. Yeah, the only thing I can gather is, ew. yeah, the PCB is both. But do I do it out out of here? It's got to be this. Maybe the magnet's so strong that it's, I don't know, picking up on one of the back of the the uh, hot swap sockets. Oh, these are new hot swap sockets. These appear to be new hot swap sockets. They have a SMO or SHO on them, but it looks like, well, that's a different design. That's interesting. And there's a lot of flux around the knob there. But yeah, I am, um, <clears throat> the only thing that I would guess is that that magnet is picking up because since it only happens here and here, it's like grabbing on to something. <laughs> Maybe they got steel little clips in there. I'm I I, I don't know, but it definitely um it's not definitely so it's up it's something I definitely don't want to mess around with and and find out. I, if the Bluetooth worked, maybe, but nowadays basically fifty dollars it's this isn't as much of a, a bargain as it would have been 50 bucks I think I could I mean I'd rather get a GMK 67 I know it's not a 75 percent but still I just think there's better choices All right, you want to be a pain in the butt don't you oh you're backwards that's why yeah gotta love when they install these backwards That's in there. Now I want to get I think that's how it goes. Oh. Alright, so I'll make sure that port is in there. It looks like I turned it on. Oh well. And then I'll go ahead and snap this shut. That's not the type of clicking I want my keyboard to be making. Alright, pop that on there. Alright, 
Um, so again, this is the uh, Kuri uh, MK082. Um, I like I said, I think it listed normally for $79.99, but it had a coupon, and I paid $48, just under $50 for it. But what is at what based on what is available nowadays, I find it hard to justify something like this. This is even though it has a PC plate, it's it's still close to the bottom of the barrel. Um, it has that defect it has some issue with Bluetooth and I tried numerous devices um, it has this weird two-part knob this keyboard just seems to have more cons than it has pros so it's not something that I can recommend I am um, I mean it's it's not having Bluetooth functionality it's just that's a immediate cut from my pack so I'm gonna leave you guys with a sound test of this stock um, other than what was it the G? Was it? Yeah. Other than the G switch being lubed, um, I don't know. I, I, I think it sounds like it has clickies in it. <laughs> That's I mean, not even a good clickies. I don't know. I'll leave you guys with a stock sound test. You guys can decide. I'd love to know what you guys think of it, what's your thoughts about it, and you think it's the magnet that's causing that click up there. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Let's start a conversation. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.